welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer, and I'm so glad you've joined us. Today is Thursday, October 5th. We're preparing for the 19th Sunday after Pentecost. Let's take a moment to quiet our hearts and minds as we begin our time of prayer together. Let's pray. Beloved God, from you come all things that are good. Lead us by the inspiration of your Spirit to know those things that are right, and by your merciful guidance, help us to do them. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Now let's hear today's scripture reading from the letter to the Colossians, chapter 2. May the word of God speak to our souls. Therefore, do not let anyone judge you with respect to food or drink, or in the matter of a feast, new moon, or Sabbath days. These are only the shadow of the things to come, but the reality is Christ. Let no one who delights in humility and the worship of angels pass judgment on you. That person goes on at great lengths about what he has supposedly seen, but he is puffed up with empty notions by his fleshly mind. He has not held fast to the head from whom the whole body, supported and knit together through its ligaments and sinews, grows with a growth that is from God. If you have died with Christ to the elemental spirits of the world, why do you submit to them as though you lived in the world? Do not handle, do not taste, do not touch. These are all destined to perish with use, founded as they were on human commands and teaching. Even though they have the appearance of wisdom with their self-imposed worship and false humility achieved by an unsparing treatment of the body, a wisdom with no true value, they in reality result in fleshly indulgence. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Now having heard God's word, let's lift up our concerns and thanksgivings to God knowing that he hears and cares for us. I invite you to join me in prayer either silently or out loud. Even though we may be far apart, we're united right now in prayer and in the presence of the Holy Spirit. So let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. 
on this day that the Lord has made, let us pray for the church, the world, and all people according to their need. For the unity of the church in witness and proclamation of the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. For the peace and stability of all peoples, and for the leaders of the nations, let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. For places of work, education, and leisure, let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. For a blessing on our homes, for our relations and friends, and all whom we love, let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering, and all who minister to their needs, let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. Let us commend ourselves, and all for whom we pray, to the mercy and protection of God. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Daily Prayer. We hope this time has been a source of encouragement and inspiration for you. If you enjoyed this program, please share it with a friend or family member, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. And if you're interested in supporting our ministry, you can make a donation at our website, goodshepherdlife.org. Remember, no matter what you may face today, God is with you, and you are loved. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow 